my gosh, we actually made it. We just made it to the end of the Cassier Highway, the northern end. Looks like the gas station is super closed, so uh, I'm just gonna start driving north and hope I can make it to a station. Well, here's where we made it to. So we started way down south, came through Prince George. You can see at Prince George, the highway splits two different ways. So you can either go right or left. The right side's the Alaska Highway, and Highway 37 over here is the Cassier Highway. So it goes all through the mountains and pops out. You can tell it's a little bit shorter than going the other way. So that's why we went that way. Anyway, we're at Watson Lake. So got a long way to go to get to Whitehorse. station I wanted to go to was closed. It was a major one, but it was closed. So uh, I have no choice but to continue on and I'm starting to get really low on diesel. My rear tank is already empty and my front tank is getting really close to being empty too. So I hope we make it. I do not want to run out of diesel on this highway. Not when it's negative five out. Oh man, we might be in luck. Here's the moment of truth. I hope the fueling station in this town is open. Right, moment of truth. That is not what I wanted to see. They're closed. Oh boy. Well, we are just about out of fuel. Oh my God, Tesla's 143 kilometers. We're not gonna make it. If there's not some little station open, we're not gonna make it. There's only one more town called Swift River, and if that's not open, we're in really big trouble. We might not make it all the way to Tesla. That's 85 miles away. That is not what I wanted to see. Oh, crap. Well, hopefully we make it. We still got like 80 miles to go almost. There's the place I was hoping is gonna be open. They're closed. Right now, I'm literally just about on empty. I've got about 80 miles to drive. Keep my fingers crossed, that's all I can do. The other kicker is I have no cell phone service, so I can't call for help. Oh boy, I'm starting to get pretty nervous here. I don't know what to do besides just keep going. That's kind of insane that there's over 200 miles in between gas stations, or that's what just happened to me. Like my old Toyota RV only went 180 miles in a tank, so you couldn't even have made that gap without carrying spare fuel, even with a full tank at the previous gas station. So, oi, oi, oi. Tesla in 81 kilometers. That's like 53 miles or so. And I'm currently below empty. Oh okay, God, this is it. I'm starting to run on fumes in the front tank and sputtering, so I'm gonna flip it to my rear tank, which is already on empty, but I can run it below empty, I guess, for a little bit. It got me back up to the top of the red line. I've got 40 miles to go. All right, we got 36 kilometers to Teslin. That's about 22 miles or so. Um, I was running on fumes in our front tank, switched to my rear tank, I'm below empty on it. I think we got it. I know we got it. We, we got this. We have to get this. We got to. You guys, I cannot tell you how relieved I am. We made it to the village of Teslin, and I am literally 30 to 40 miles below empty on my rear tank, and my front tank totally ran out. It was sputtering. I can't even believe it. I wouldn't want to go three more miles down the road. I might run out of fuel completely. I'm so lucky, and that's not happening again. Lesson learned. Oh, thank you. Whew. Oh, yes, we got fuel. Let's go. I cannot begin to describe the relief that has come over me now that we have fuel in the truck and we're heading north. We're about 130 miles away from Whitehorse, Yukon Territories. I've got just enough time to get to Whitehorse to get to the Napa Auto Parts before they close and return.
return that alternator that I don't need because I fixed it. It's just the wiring, it turns out. So it's all good. On the home run stretch, almost to Whitehorse. Looks like there's some kind of crazy storm starting to move in. We are getting out of Whitehorse. It is so cold here. It's negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Just freezing. My hand is literally burning, filling up with diesel. We're about to hit the highway and head north. Here we go. You guys aren't gonna believe this crap. This day just keeps getting crazier. Ooh, it's super cold. Oh, it's negative 25 outside and my Webasto diesel heater is failed. There's a voltage fail. I have no heat in here. This is not cool. Um, I'm gonna try to unplug the fuse really quick. I have to have heat in here. I don't have my wood stove. I have my air conditioner in here. Um, I usually have my wood stove, but I took it out for the road trip. So let's see if we can fix it. All right, I just pulled the fuse. Oh my God, uh, set the date and time. God, I hope this works. I'm in big trouble, boys and girls, if this doesn't work. All right, come on, baby. Okay, I think it's working. Maybe I fix it, we'll see. Well, guys, we're in big trouble. Um, I pulled my fuse down there for the Webasto multiple times to reset it, and it's not working. It's still giving me the error code, so we are screwed. My water is already frozen solid in here, so it's gonna blow my faucet up, the plumbing in it. And uh, I don't know what else to do. I, all I can do is just drive all the way home nonstop. So that's what we're gonna do, I guess. Yipe, crazy. Oh my God, you guys, guess what? We got heat, it's working. Oh, thank God. Wow. Ugh. So I think what was going on is I had diesel from the lower 48 and it's super cold so that diesel gelled up and froze essentially just turned into gel and the diesel heater wasn't able to suck it to the pump but i just went to the canadian gas station right now and put canadian diesel in it which has winterizer gel anti-gel stuff in it already and it just took it a few minutes and that actually loosened up everything that was in the tank and we got heat now so Whew. thank god it would have been really cold anyway that's all crisis averted Let's continue. Okay, we're on the road again. Got a long ways to go though. We'll see where we make it tonight. Maybe we'll try to get out towards Haynes Junction or somewhere in that direction. Whoa, caribou. Holy crap. What? Let's see that. Look at all the caribou. What? Holy crap. There are caribou everywhere trying to cross the road. Absolutely beautiful evening out. Get a half moon up there. We're approaching Haynes Junction right now, just a couple miles away. So this is our final fill up in Canada. Our final fill up was extremely expensive diesel. And we're about 300 miles from Tok, Alaska. We're getting there. Here is the junction. So I'm gonna pull over here and diesel up and we will be on our way. Two full tanks of diesel, let's do it.